Hello students. This is part one of a sequence of videos where we'll be linearizing a system of ODEs. In this video, I'm essentially going to give the background for um, the mathematics behind uh, linearizing a system. Um, so um, really, I'm going to talk more about um, Taylor series expansion and uh, the Jacobian matrix in this video. And then in the next video, I'll actually do it for a general um, system of OD, nonlinear ODEs. All right, so let's begin. We call it the Taylor series expansion is given by this expression. This is a polynomial. So remember that this f of x naught is going to give you a constant because you're evaluating the, the derivative at x naught. Then you take the derivative. I'm sorry, you evaluate the function at x naught. Then you take the derivative and you evaluate the derivative at x naught. So you're going to get a number. So you're going to get a number in these two places. And then you're going to get this first order term. And then you get this error term here, okay, where this funny symbol xi, it's a Greek letter xi, um, is between the expansion point x naught and x. All right. So this is actually a linear equation. If you look at this, this is actually going to give you the equation of the tangent line to the um, graph of the function f of x um, at the point x naught. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to shift um, our coordinate system from um, x um, to x naught. So, we're, so actually, uh, the origin of our new um, coordinate system is going to be 0. And uh, so that means we're, we're um, translating um, so that x naught becomes uh, 0 for our new coordinate system. And so um, what do these terms look like now? So we're just going to plug them in. And um, if I plug in um, uh, u there, then at x naught, that's going to become 0. And then so if I think about that here, if I shift this over, this x naught over to the other side, I get um, x is equal to u plus x naught. I take the derivative with respect to u. I do a little chain rule here. df to u is equal to df dx times dx to u. And now if I plug all that in, I get an f prime of 0. Um, this x minus x naught becomes u, um, as we promised up here. And um, these, this um, hot term here, this is higher order terms, we're going to ignore this for a linear approximation because we're linearizing about um, x naught here. And so we're going to ignore second degree terms. Now, could you include second degree terms? Certainly. Um, that's just going to make your approximation a little more complex. Um, and we're not going to bother with that for now. So um, let's take this expression here. This is our linearized expression. And now let's do this for a um, function of two variables. And so we're going to get these partials here, df dx and df dy. And um, the same thing is going to occur as I just explained in the single variable case. And if we had a second function g, the same thing would occur there. And then if I wrote this as a matrix system, I would have a vector fg, a vector fg here, which is um, constant. This is um, f at x0 and y0. This is g at x0 and y0. Then I would write this block here as a matrix system. So the partials df du and df dv, dg du, dg dv, these are, remember they're evaluated at points, so these are coefficients. These, these are going to be constants now. And so I'm going to pick those off and put those in my matrix. And then u and v, I'm going to write as a vector. And if you think about vector multiplication, um, you'll see that you would get this expression here because the u gets multiplied by the first component of the matrix. v gets multiplied by that second component of the matrix there. Um, u gets multiplied by that bottom component of the matrix. And v gets multiplied by that component of the matrix. So you can work that in reverse and see that this is the right thing to do. Generally, you'll see something like this written as this is going to be a vector f naught. This would be the Jacobian matrix, and this would be some vector u, let's say, put the arrow over the top to indicate that it's a vector, not the component u. Okay, um, so please, uh, this is part one of the linearizing system of ODEs. Please um, help yourself to part two and uh, see how we're going to actually come up with the general theory for linearizing a system of ODEs. Okay, good luck.